In an age where threats to our well-being lurk around every corner, there is one culprit silently amplifying our stress and tightening its grip on our peace of mind. What if I told you that the solution isn't in the latest wellness trend, but in something that we've been overlooking all along? Let's dive in and together we'll uncover this surprising antidote. The antidote may not be a wellness trend, but it is a diet. Yep, by cutting out just one thing from your current consumption, you can watch your stress levels drop faster than underwear on a wedding night. So, what's the killer ingredient? It's the news. Stop consuming the news. Guess what? Unless you're a journalist, a day trader, or a handful of other professions, you really do not need to know what happened in the world today. I promise. Are, are you sure? There are a few reasons for this. First off, if the old adage, no news is good news, is to be believed, very little you read today in a paper will cheer you up. As Musk said in a recent tweet, ah, next, ah, post. The term you're looking for now is Twitter post. You're welcome. I digress. As Musk said, most news outlets are trying to answer the question, what's the worst thing happening on earth today? Look. This is of course ironic given that he owns one of the biggest purveyors of sadness slash news in the world, but his point is valid. I get it, we're living in tumultuous times and we have to keep our ear to the ground to know what's going on, right? Wrong. You know how I know that? Because that statement would be true whenever you happen to be watching this. There's always something important going on that wants to trade your attention for stress. That's true. During 2020, I remember when everybody was subscribed to chat groups and newsletters with COVID updates, the first thing I advised my team at Missing Link to do was to turn them all off. They were just a distraction from the real work that we needed to do if we were to stay alive as a business. Anything actually important would have found its way to us anyway. That's what we did. And it worked really well. The test was simple. Was this something that uh, we were able to act on? If not, well, it was other people's updates. It was important, wasn't it? I mean, it's gotten a limp here. And I'm willing to state that every single minute you spent reading up and watching videos on the pandemic, every argument and debate that you had was complete and utter waste of time. Oh, oh yeah. shit, you're right. It changed nothing. It did nothing. It just stole time. We're all having our own problems, which are big enough. Why would we possibly want to add somebody else's into the mix? This brings me to my second point. The news will have you believe that things are a lot worse than they actually are. The sky is not falling down. If you read a paper today, chances are you would see a headline that would have you believe that our government is rapidly taking our country straight to hell in a handbasket. I mean, that's not news. The truth is they probably are. That's just fine. That's what governments do. Bless. Let them do it. Right? Do yourself a favor. Pick a random English-speaking country and for one month read their news instead of yours. You know what you'll find? People complaining. Corruption. Broken promises. What you won't find is a grass that's particularly greener. So why stress? Thirdly, there's simply too much happening to stay current. It's exhausting. If social media has done one thing well, it's that it has properly shagged your attention spans. They did what? There's a barrage of content, like a new company to hate here and five ways to change something there. No wonder we're stressed. We're suffering from the worst kind of FOMO ever, right? We're scared of missing something. So instead we don't properly consume anything. What did I miss? Am I calling for apathy? No, not at all. I'm just suggesting some hard earned blissful ignorance. Guys, very little that happens in the world today happens in real time. Most of it takes actual time. So get in the habit for waiting for things to settle before you take them in. This allows you to digest only that that's really important. So simple. You see, you can only learn anything meaningful at the end of the story arc. And the news isn't that. The news keeps you up to date, but staying up to date while the story is still unfolding, that only produces anxiety. And if you are worried about your relevance, know this. The news you read today will make you smarter for an afternoon. But that book you took a month to read, well, damn, that will make you smarter for the rest of your life. And the truth is, you have a limited amount of time to spend consuming content. Don't waste a single second of it inheriting other people's problems. Look, strangely enough, if history is to be believed, and I'd suggest that it almost certainly is, Things have a funny way of sorting themselves out in the end. And spoiler alert, this isn't the end.